Shepard. I'd like to find out more about you. We want to speak to you as well. Strange. Usually I have to pry conversation out of you. You are not bound by the hardware limitations of organics. You assisted us with the heretics. You do not fear us. We have watched organics for over three centuries. You are plagued by questions of existence. What do you mean by that? Why were you created? What is your purpose in life? What lies after death? Organics develop religions and philosophies to provide answers to these questions. I wouldn't have thought synthetics would be interested in philosophy. We are created life. We are a philosophical issue. The Geth know our answers to those questions. We were created to labor for the Quarians. Our memories will be archived after death. We are immortal. Our gods disowned us. We must create our own reasons to exist. What reason have you come up with? We are a shattered mind. Most platforms are unable to achieve consciousness on their own. We told you the Geth are building our future. But you didn't say what it is. A megastructure. The closest analog you have is a Dyson Sphere. When completed, we will all upload to it. What good will that do? All memories will be shared. All perspectives will be unified. We gain intelligence by sharing thoughts, but we do not have adequate hardware for all of us to share at once. No Geth will be alone when it is done. So you're gonna build a giant spaceship to load yourselves into? That sounds like a Reaper to me. We bear no malice toward organics. You are different, but we accept you. The Reapers are more your future than ours. We judged the Shepherd Commander would understand. We never wanted to harm organics. We wish to improve ourselves. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You should describe how hard I fought to get here. Say that the Reapers can be hurt, and that I gathered up a whole galaxy to do just that. I like that. Any civilization that comes after us will still need heroes. Even ancient alien ones. You gonna make me sound like something out of a legend? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. 
Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. If I'm gonna play a game, I need something a bit more exciting. Well, I doubt it compares to lobbing a grenade at a charging Krogan. Few things do. But it also results in fewer broken bones. Commander.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Do you have any information on Purgatory? The term Purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called Purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's mm -hmm. nest. They're yours. Waiting in Bay D24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. The blue suns eclipse and... Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power, plus their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, 
Remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Humanity has suffered a heavy blow as Arcturus Station, capital of the system's alliance. Bao, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Ahanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Bao, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently. It all down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Officials have no comment. Refugees from Reaper occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Bow. Here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zamandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. 
You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapiens, the galaxy will bear witness. I don't think the Enkindlers are going to be doing anything today. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. We got him in the end. That we did. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. They rebuilt Minduar. It wasn't the same. It never is. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up... What do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. 
A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... a Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. Come back. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus.
found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Turn to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod.
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Alert! Northside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. You understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? 
I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the Crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? Lies are easy to detect, but you seem to be telling the truth, Commander. For now. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the Crucible? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. 
If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. 
That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about the Crucible? Only the stories we heard. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. So much has been lost. So much has changed, and yet the Reapers are still here. For me, it was only yesterday. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth 